Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we'll do some practice examples on standard deviation. Uh, in our previous classes, we already discussed how to find the standard deviation equation for that. What's the use of it? Uh, so it is a measure of uh, dispersion. So all those things were covered in our previous class. These are just practice examples, not only based on that uh, standard deviation e equation. Uh, we'll do some more examples also, some other types of examples. Uh, please watch till the end. So if you if you don't know what's the equation of standard deviation, please watch our previous classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. So let's try to take this example. This is uh, X size means a list of uh, data has been provided and F size means frequencies are provided. So if you want to identify the standard deviation, the equation for standard deviation sigma is given as 1 by n capital N square root of Fi Xi minus X bar whole square. Here n means number of data points, Fi means frequency values has been provided, Xi minus X bar means mean value. So in our first classes when we discussed about arithmetic mean uh, given frequency distributions, how we find that uh, based on Xi Fi value, we have to find the arithmetic mean. First, we have to find the arithmetic mean. For that, we have to identify Xi fi values uh, so multiply xi fi values these are the values which we got uh, after that uh, if you want to find the mean x bar is equal to sigma f xi fi by sigma fi capital n is equal to given as a uh, sigma fi means number of data points frequency of all these points summation of all these points we call it as a uh, number of data points that is equal to 40 so sigma fi fi is given as 40 so sigma xi fi if you add all these values we got a value of 760 760 by 40 that is equal to 19 uh, so mean value is given as 19 we identified the mean value after identifying the mean value we have to find xi minus x bar that is equal to minus 13 minus 9 so on all these values uh, similarly after that uh, in the equation xi minus x bar whole square so square it uh, we got this value so after that we have to multiply by fi so that is uh, after multiplying fi we got this value summation of all these values summation of all these values this is the equation so here we forgot to write the summation symbol sigma fi xi minus x bar whole square sigma should be there summation of all these values we got 1736 so sigma is given as a sigma is given as a sigma square is equal to 1736 divided by 40 that is equal to 43.4 sigma is equal to square root of 43.4 that is equal to 6.58 our standard deviation is a 6.58 this is how we find the measure of dispersion coming to the next example it is very important to understand so given x1 bar comma sigma 1 has been given these are uh, these are the values of a uh, mean and standard deviation of size n1 samples there is a size of n1 samples uh, for that samples they have provided the standard deviation and mean value similarly x2 bar comma uh, sigma 2 are the be the mean and standard deviation of n2 samples uh, if you want to identify the mean and standard deviation of com combination of these two samples how we find that uh, in our last classes when we discussed about arithmetic mean we already identified if in this situations how to find the mean value mean value is given as n1 x1 bar plus n2 x2 bar here x2 bar by n1 plus n2 this is the equation we already discussed about this equation how we got this equation when we discussed about the mean value arithmetic mean in our first classes similarly if you want to find the standard deviation sigma is equal to square root of n1 sigma 1 square plus n2 sigma 2 square plus n1 d1 square plus n2 d2 square by n1 plus n2 here d1 means x1 bar minus x bar x bar means we have to find the mean of both the samples combination of the samples x1 bar means first sample mean minus total mean second sample mean minus a total mean that is what d1 d2 values means this is how this is the equation to find the standard deviation for combination of this uh, two samples uh, let's take an example this is a b c three samples has been three different uh, distributions has been provided mean mean uh, and each sample is having 50 n1 point 60 n2 points 90 n3 points uh, mean is given uh, 113 120 115 and standard deviation is provided if you want to identify the standard deviation and mean for all the combination of this uh, di distribution it, it goes like this mean is equal to x bar is equal to n1 x1 bar plus n2 x2 bar plus n3 x3 bar by n1 plus n2 plus n3 
3. If you substitute it, we will get this equation. The mean value is 116. Now we have to identify d1, d2, d3. x1 bar minus x bar is equal to 113 minus 116. That is a minus 3. d2 is equal to 120 minus 164. d3 is equal to x3 bar minus x bar. That is equal to 115 minus 116 is equal to minus 1. If you substitute these all these values in our standard deviation equation, so n1 uh, sigma 1 square uh, this is the equation divided by n1 plus n2 plus n3 if you substitute this we are not showing it here it's simple calculation so 7.746 is our standard deviation this is how we will find the mean and standard deviation given uh, uh, for the whole set of all the data points uh, hope you understand these examples if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you